The new course, the Infantry Marine course, kind of a clean slate, a whiteboard for creating infantry training given the new environment that we think we'll be fighting in. So it looks like the Marine Corps came out with something much needed and useful to young infantry. They took the SOI, the ITB course, right, the infantry training course from eight weeks to 14 weeks and now, then it's going to go to 18 weeks. Let's take a look, and I think this is going to be a vast improvement for young infantrymen. Let's go. Uh, Marines that are more flexible, able to uh, fight and win battles in any climate place. Uh, are I'm going to cut through some of the PR bullshit. So the course right now, they're deploying these M27 squad automatic weapons we'll call them they're going to be remind me kind of a stoner magazine fed fully auto weapons all infantry men at some point will be carrying them and the saws will be used sparingly based on what the company commanders wants but the point is of this course is they're going to train guys up so when they get to the fleet the eight weeks which it used to be is now going to become 16 weeks. That's after boot camp. So you figure these guys are going to go in far more prepared when they get out to their units, more capable, familiar with more weapon systems, tactics, taking orders from the field, things that they typically wouldn't come in to the fleet with as a young PFC or Lance Corporal. Be accomplished by training the Marines uh, better at what it is that they're supposed to be doing. Uh, utilizing behaviors that we think are important for all infantry marines and then getting them to the specific skill acquisitions level that are required to maximize the learning while that while they're at ITB and to make them better and more lethal uh, marines once they get to the fleet. And then they're also going to understand the why behind the things that we are doing here and what is expected of them once they get onto the fleet. There's an article that just came out in addition to this piece, and they talk about the Marines are going to understand the why, the young guys. Now, you're automatically, you're going to think, why are we going this long hump? Why are we doing this other shit we don't want to do? I don't think that's the point. Why we're doing this exercise, why we're doing this tactic, and how the good outcomes have shown this works, and how the bad outcomes have shown this doesn't work. I think that's going to be a great improvement because a lot of times you're just doing things or marching from A to B, doing a lot of things. You don't know why. And then people get disgruntled downstream. Yes. Uh, right now, the Marine the, from the previous POI uh, is, must be led along. He ain't, requires a lot of supervision, cannot operate independently. Uh, if you look at uh, how the Commandant plans the future, distributed, very small, um, minimized signature, uh, it's, you can't do it with the Marine we were creating. You must have this Marine now in order to do that. Pretty interesting. They're going to the combat's guidance, and I think all the armed forces are these smaller units, right? So almost like, bear with me here, every unit is going more towards SF capability. So smaller units, more decision making, more understanding of weapon systems, other elements on the battlefield. I think this is a good move. I often heard me bitch about the military spending money in terrible directions, but I'm always a big fan of putting more money into training. I don't care if they never leave the United States. The more training, the better they could be if they did have to leave, right? So I'd say it is crit. The biggest difference between this course and the current uh, ITB POI is how we train the Marines. What we've recognized is that our Generation Z Marine is fundamentally different from a Generation X Marine or a Millennial Marine. And so what we've done is through the adult learning model, we recognize that the Marines themselves come in with a higher aptitude for success. <laughs> and the adult Marine model, they're calling it. I don't know if they got higher aptitudes, maybe, right? A lot of people with college degrees joining the military. You got a degree in lesbian dance theory, probably not getting a job, so maybe the military is the next step. So maybe he's saying that they're coming in, they're coming in with more skills, smarter, right? Maybe they're a tad aged up, don't know, but the adult marine model sticks in my head. What do you guys think about that quote? It's in the article recently came out as well as this video. It keeps saying the adult marine model. A larger understanding of the world around them. And then so what we recognize is 
There's a lot of Marines that have a thirst for knowledge. So what we do is we give them the tools and the applications to be able to find and seek that knowledge out. What we're doing is we've taken a fundamentally different approach to training. We've adapted an adult learning model rather than an industrial model. These Marines, they're trained differently. They're trained to be able to be more adaptive. What we're also looking to do is help the fleet. If we help the FMF themselves by creating a better trained infantry marine or a more well-rounded. So in the past, you finish ITB eight weeks, you go out to the fleet. They're still somewhat training you up, right? You're still a young boot. What I've heard about these guys is they're coming into this training. They don't seem like the same boots of old. So say 20 years ago, young boot came to infantry training. They seem far more prepared could be because of all the war we've been through, the prep these kids know they could go to war. Not kids, and actually, they're, <laughs> I made the mistake. There's actually a order down from higher up management, right? The officer rank saying, you should not call these young Marines kids anymore. Found that to be interesting. So this adult Marine model, don't call them kids anymore. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's a great step forward to make everybody light infantry, fast moving, more training, better prepared to fight battles of the future.